Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Abby. I'm a hygienist here at 210 Family Dentistry. And I just wanted to let y'all know if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to click, up, click on the subscribe button for more braces content. Today's visit, we're gonna go ahead and show you how we reposition some brackets and we're also gonna take off her bite plate appliance. So first things first, we take a look at the panoramic x-ray we took to take a look at which teeth need to be repositioned. And in this appointment, this patient needed seven brackets removed to reposition the teeth. What we do first is we go ahead and we remove the glue from the teeth. We will apply some bonding material. We will then mark the tooth for bracket placement and then apply the bracket to the tooth as we measure as well. And of course, final step, you use your curing light to cure the glue. We will follow these steps with the next several brackets that need to be repositioned. And as always, we want to let our 210 family subscribers know that we are super thankful for all the support that you have given us through this period of time that we have ha been here on YouTube. We have reached about 107,000 subscribers now and it really wouldn't be possible without you all subscribing or watching our braces content. So thank you so much. When brackets are repositioned and wire placement is placed back on, sometimes the patient feels a little bit sore because now the brackets are angulated at a different angle and make, it makes the wire a little bit more stiff.
see here, this patient has had a bike plate on for the last six months. It has done its course, so we're gonna go ahead and remove it. Now, um, you wanna make sure that you take off any of that plaque or any of the Fuji glue residue off to make sure that it's bonded back on correctly, which we will do. Because as you can see here, we removed the plastic, like the bite plate, the plastic part, and then we're going to put the anchor back on to maintain anchorage and avoid shift from the motor. As you can see here, we are like tying the, what we call the upper tooth, which is the laterals um, on the top of your teeth, because the patient is going to have a two to two chain. The patient here is going to start on some rubber band elastics, which we would we call some short post closing. It will go from the upper twos, from the lower threes, to the upper threes, to the lower fours. If you like racist content and you want to see more, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Yeah! yeah.